Hola mga Lakers! Welcome back! If you're new to my channel, my name is Sir Kevin. I love to share my skills and knowledge about educational technology. I upload before twice and now four times a week. So if you want to learn more about educational technology, subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my latest video. I made series of videos for me to show you how you can use Kotobi Author and Kotobi Reader. For this video, I'm gonna show you how you can manage book details and chapters. If you want to check the previous episodes, click the caption above. Before you start creating your ebook, make sure you know what type of ebook you will make and who will be your readers. There are various types of ebook you can make. Modular type as supplementary tool for your students, tutorial type for vocational courses, storytelling book for children, or a simple game book with lots of fun exercises about a specific topic. Once you already decided which type of ebook you will make, let's proceed. In your Kotobi author, type first the book title in here. It could be the subject, name of the course, or any topic you would like. To add additional details, click this book manager button. In here, Aside from the book title, you can add more details about your ebook, like author, publisher, ISBN, rights, and description. To add table of contents, click the table of contents tab and check auto generate. A table of content created and updated automatically on the first page, and chapters will be listed as links. For this demonstration, I want to make a tutorial book for my students. Let's name it Making Patch Cable Computer Network System. My name as the author and I'm gonna leave blank the publisher, ISBN, and rights. Now let's add description here. You also have formatting options for descriptions, like changing the font size, font color, text alignment, bold, italicized, and many more. Once then, click OK. To add cover image, click this icon. Locate the image file in your computer Then click open to upload. To add chapter, click new chapter button. A dialog box opens showing what type of layout for your chapter content. If you choose fixed layout, it is a good choice to maintain a design of your work. However, it is not that flexible to all devices screen. When it appears too small to read, a reader have to zoom it like an image. If you choose reflowable layout, it is most recommendable layout if you want a responsive content that adjusts its font size and visibility automatically based on the device used. 
Name the chapter you added and add necessary content. To add another chapter, click again the new chapter button. Always click this button whenever you want to add another chapter. To add sub chapter, choose a chapter and click this plus icon along with it. Name the sub chapter and add necessary content. Click this icon every time you want to add a sub chapter. You can also create sub chapter under a sub chapter. I got crazy thought and got curious on how many sub chapters I can add under a sub chapter. Surprisingly, I got more than 10 sub chapters deep. Well done. The number of chapters and sub chapters will depend on your working ebook. Drag a chapter or sub chapter to rearrange. If you want to remove a chapter or a sub chapter, choose one and click this delete icon. Note that if you delete a chapter, all sub chapters underneath will also be deleted. For the next episode, If this video helps you a lot, give a like and share to the people you think who needs to see it. Thank you for watching and I am Sir Kevin. See you on my next video.